Hi guys, this is Cindy. Let's take a few minutes to look at the Commission Tracker in Genesis. One of the benefits of using the Commission Tracker is if you are getting commissions from multiple companies, you're going to be able to enter all those statement details into one place and pull reports and edit them straight out of Genesis. So let's take a look at where to find it first. We're going to go to Tools and Commission Tracking and this is our interface for entering in all of our different commission statements. There's a couple of key pieces of information that you have to make sure you set up first though. So when you're in a policy, if your producers are writing them, you always want to make sure that the producer fills in their name in the producer field. And this is generated from the list of users that you have in Genesis. As long as they do that, you will be able to generate the reports you need by producer for those statement details. The next thing that you can do is in user setup and it is in this commission section. You can enter in a percentage that people get for new and renewal policies. You'll probably only use this if it's static, but if they change, I'll show you in just a minute how to enter those in manually. So let's start entering in a commission statement detail. We're gonna to go to tools again and commission tracking. And we're going to start right here at Enter Commission Statement Detail. Always remember you can go back and edit the detail anytime you'd like to edit any of the records. So let's get started. It opens up a form that I'm going to fill out and I'll put in my statement date to start with and then I'll put in the transaction effective date which is listed on my commission statement detail that I got from the company. I can put in the transaction type, whether it's new business, cancellations. If you are entering cancellations in here, you're going to want to make sure that under the transaction commission amount, you put a minus right here. Okay, that's going to take it away instead of adding it to your commission. Otherwise, you'll just pick one of these, you'll enter in a dollar value, and then you'll go down here and either in, in an, enter in an agency commission percentage or a producer commission percentage. So if I enter in 65 in producer, it automatically calculates agency for me, takes the dollar amount I entered here, and gives me a total amount for each person. I can also add a co referral commission percentage here if I'd like. My next step is simply to put in my policy number. When I tab out of it, it pulls in my insured, the company, the policy type, and a whole bunch of other information that can be relevant here. When I want to do a new entry, I just simply click new entry and it moves me to a blank record. Now let's talk about pulling reports for commission statements. I'm going to enter in the beginning date and the ending date of the report I want to pull. I can filter it through a variety of options here, carrier, producer, referred by, or location. And I can also group my reports, either by producer or by referral. In this example, let's group it by producer, and then I'm going to hit view and print reports. The first one gives me a report that has no producer, so I would either want to figure out who the producer was for the policies on these and go into the client's profile and enter them or I can just move on to the next. And this is my report for Cindy. It shows who she wrote. It also shows what the commission percentage is and a lot of other information. If I wanna print it, I hit print preview and print at the top of the screen. And that will allow me to give it to my producers if I'd like. So that in a nutshell is the commission tracker. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions or need any assistance or have any suggestions, let us know. Thanks.